sacrifices of the young Joseph Elias pushed him to be the man that his father wanted him to be. Well, good morning, uh, Joseph. Thank morning, you for Rebecca. being here. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, we would like to know your story. So can you tell us about your childhood? It, I mean, if my mom will be here, will tell you that was a disaster. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I... I really annoyed them very much. Uh, as I told you, I was not having a great respect for rules. Um, I like to think that uh, I'm, I'm doing a bit better today, hopefully. And um, but I was, I was someone. I mean, I was not a bad kid. I would say that that's also something that they always told me, you know, and that I was have respect for others. That uh, I will be uh, someone who was charming and, and livelihood, but. Um, it's just that if I thought something could be done differently and that that was a better way, I would do it regardless of the consequences or what was the ruling of the time. Mm -hmm. So, who inspired you then that make you change? I think I get the, the, certainly the inspiration comes from my parents. Uh, my, uh, particularly my dad, I would say, I remember a sentence he told me once, that told me something like, it wasn't in Spanish, but it would be something like, you know, I will die with it, but I'll make you succeed, you know? And uh, he, he really tried very hard with uh, my mom to, uh, to help me out, to, to shape me, to drive me, or put ways, more than drive me, put ways in front of me where I could choose and try to find out what uh, motivates me and definitely make they, they succeed. What changed you when your dad said, I will die for it to make you succeed. And it had a huge impact. Then is when I realized what love was. And I said like, oh, like I'm understanding behind this. I was trying to understand that he will sacrifice his life for my, for my. Then is when I started to take conscious of, well, maybe you're making it too hard for them. So why don't, why don't you move a bit to, mm -hmm. to, to their side? And, uh, and that's something I still uh, remember and that I apply as well uh, into my day to day, you know, with uh, my spouse, with my two daughters, and uh, as well with all the people I've worked with. So how it feel when you're able to overcome the challenges and deliver what your parents are expecting from you? Yeah, when I, this is a great question, you know, when uh, I'm still fighting, you know, not only for them, but also for my spouse and, and for my daughters, and certainly as well my parents and my brothers so that they could a that I could help them out and that they could feel proud of me um, no no pride no no seek for pride and all, all this journey at all I mean at the end of the day uh, we're still being as anybody else a human being with the same needs and, and the same misery, mis miseries you know? so uh, it's exciting to do to hear how, um, how you started the family, and at that young age, I could see you, you started young. I remember we were in the car, she was driving, as she's still driving <laughs> my life, so... And, uh, and uh, we were in a red light, and, and then she looked, turned and looked at me and told me, will you marry me? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, of course, that's why we're dating, like, I'm, this is what I'm looking for, is to marry you, and, and then she told me, okay, then, let's go find a church, and she's like, whoa! Well, wait a minute. Uh, why don't we marry on the year two? That was 1998. Like, why don't we marry in the year 2000? And then she told me to step out of the car. Told me, oh, you really need to wait two years to step out of the car. You don't love me. Like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> it would be a nice, like, change of century. I was thinking that would be romantic. That would be nice. No, she wanted as fast as possible. And you can guess, we end up that afternoon going to church, trying to find a date, and when we married in October 1999. So how you connect with uh, the people here in Philippines, because you came from different culture? The, what is difficult, maybe it's very simple by you know, exercising yourself on how to adjust, rather than asking the culture to adjust to you. No? Um, I would say the Philippines for me has been one of the easiest destinations so far. The, the fact that it's a 300 heritage story of the Spanish um, people, um, the family values, uh, all this is very close to what uh, we live and how we live it in Spain. So what's your best advice for our future leaders? I would say it a bit different than that. You know, don't be afraid to explore. Uh, it's through mistakes that you learn. Uh, so that will be my be genuine kind of uh, uh, way. and. You know, it's uh, your job as a leader is 
to make sure that others to make others successful. So you need to give up your life to others. That's that's that what makes you a true leader. That will make people to stand up and say, yes. I don't know what's the cause, but I wake up and go with you wherever you go, right? And that's what we want as leaders. So what's next for um, Joseph Elias? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. As uh, many times talking with my wife and even with the company, um, uh, I pray a lot to God to know my level of incompetence before somebody else tells me, right? I can't imagine this moment. It needs to be I'm terrified to the moment someone will come like, okay. You've done a great job, but I think this is you. Um, no, we're seeking for, honestly, our level of incompetence. Uh, I keep exploring things. Um, I'm looking, I mean, one of my dreams uh, of my life was to write a book. Uh, I think uh, this is something I'm starting to consider, maybe to start two, three years from now with the experiences that I've been having this last 10 years going around the world. And if, if not, you know, I hope, uh, as, as we did a bit today, you know, I can help out others with these uh, exploratory ideas and, and, and thoughts and uh, hopefully factual, you know, with, uh, with the proven results. So, thank you very much, Joseph, and I was so happy listening to your story. <laughs> thank you so much for this opportunity, Rebecca. Thank you so much. Thank you. A lot of success for you as well. Every success has its struggles. Every dream has its trials and tests. Listen to their stories, because if they did it, you can also be called self-made.